I was um, impressed with the 1985 Ford Crown Victoria my father took home from California way back when in April of 1988. I never had friends. I, you know, was always in my world, my maps. And then I started in about the age of nine or 10, real estate, uh, but not real, uh, you know, like housing construction, but commercial real estate, like leasing off, you know, vacancy rates and office buildings. Uh, I don't know how I got onto that. And I'm still actually kind of obsessed with vacancy rates. And that's me laying down, the, taking a sun tan. I did 800 grids, looks mosaic. Some of it is of my mother in her clothes. My other little obsession was uh, radio playlists, like those top 100. Oh, that was a huge obsession. And I've been to Central Park with my dad when they have a Puerto Rican heritage show. Autism may play the major role in perceptorium in terms of sensorium, perceptorium, like the way I organize, you know, perception. Like, for example, you know, it's like I, I start like here and I kind of just like, um, so it's like a reverse gestalt where, you know, I don't think in terms of the big picture. Pure Vision Arts is a nonprofit studio and exhibition space where artists go to do their creative work. Pure Vision Arts works with artists who have developmental disabilities, including autism, and represents them and their work in the mainstream art world. The work of these artists has been included in many exhibitions, such as the Outsider Art Fair at the Puck Building in New York City, as well as private and corporate collections. And that's the last one, and you tell about that. This is the Queen's and Victorian House in Portland, Oregon. Jesse, what are some of the things you don't like to do at work? I don't like to answer the window and I had to be called and learned about window behavior. I think by seeing the pictures. The part of the brain that is subconscious in most people, that's my conscious thinking. I think basically with the subconscious. When I design a cattle handling facility, I can test run it in my head like three-dimensional virtual reality. I thought everybody could do this. I didn't know it was a special tool, a special skill. I know I code things differently. I classify things differently. I process things differently. But why would that be? An impairment. And the brain scan of the autistic person is like a little bright cabin out in the wilderness, a bright light, you know, with a hundred internet connections going down there, and everything else is shut off. So here we have a picture of the teacher I had in Port Jefferson Station, North Brookhaven. Um, I had from September 1971 to June 1973. Does she look pretty? And this is, of course, a picture of my mother in the blue polka dotted blouse who had the red one in reality. I did for my imagination. She's being recognized and publicized, has an awful lot for her self esteem. Most of my buyers tend to be a psychiatrist <laughs> or a neurologist. My favorite one was the one who, at another gallery, London based uh, psychiatrist, but had to have one of my pieces. Uh, and so, so she apparently ran into the gallery and said, uh, I have an hour before I catch my plane back to. So they had a rush. Um, um, they couldn't even frame it. She was too impatient.